Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2020 um, and it's going to be this little one's four month update. He turned four months just the back of Christmas but obviously with the festivities uh, we haven't quite managed to get it filmed so I'm doing it now. The biggest thing in the last month that James has, ha has happened to James is that he ended up in hospital with bronchitis or bronchiolitis I can never remember which one it is but it seems to be any kids sort of born August onwards with siblings tend to get this um, around Christmas time or New Year and he got it like Christmas Day I would say it started. Olivia had it just before. Um, just really bad coughing, um, really runny nose, snockery. Um, he didn't get a temperature but he felt warm. So we thought he was going to be okay and then I would say the 27th which was like boxing day night and then into the 27th he kind of just steadily got worse just constantly coughing he was really bad at feeding he couldn't have feed off, off me at all um and he was sleeping a lot so just really not well and I just wasn't happy with his breathing you know that like sucking in so we went down to the doctors and he says it's probably bronchitis or bronchiolitis whichever one um but we'll refer you to the main hospital just to get checked out just in case we stayed in overnight um they monitored him it was absolutely fine you know he was managing it really really well he was okay his oxygen levels and everything so we got put home the next day he's still this is what the this is the third today and he's still really really coughy someday like you can hear him he's still like constantly coughing he sometimes really struggles with feeding that seems to be when he's at his worst like like that but it's like 10 times worse when he's feeding he's just constant and he just can't get breath and he's just like it's just such a shame you know i'd rather have it myself but it's just it's just not nice for them you know, you kind of expect it from toddlers or even slightly younger, but this four month, three, four month stage has just been awful to see him so ill, so poorly and so miserable. He's just obviously, it's just awful for them. But fingers crossed, he's obviously over the worst. We just need to get rid of this cough, hopefully in the next maybe week. But I'll just move on to like the main sort of things that we'll speak about, which is like sleeping. So sleeping wise, he's actually been doing really well. Um, he is, <coughs> during the night, he probably sleeps quite solidly, probably from about nine o'clock onwards till six. He's been a bit later um, during Christmas period, which is good. I'm hoping he'll keep sticking to that. Um, but yeah, with, he probably be up like two or three times a night, but he feeds quite quickly now and he goes back down. So that's good. That makes a big difference, does it? Oh, what do you see? Um, so in his napping, not too bad during the day as well. So on to feeding, which kind of relates to the whole napping during the day, is that we have moved him on to formula. He's half and half. So I would say between eight and four four-ish, four or five, depending on what sort of times he's taking a bottle. He is on formula and the rest of the time he's feeding on me. I made the decision that I was going to do it 16th of December and that's when I started. I just felt like it was time, I wasn't enjoying it, I was getting frustrated by it because it was just so constant and not like the point of, I think with Olivia I did put her on a formula because I wanted her to sleep a bit longer with James it's not the case it's just so I can have a bit more time to get things done around the house to sort out Olivia you know things like that it was just like I was just basically constantly sitting on the sofa feeding him he's a big boy he's uh he obviously needs his food he needs his sustenance and his nutrition and I just didn't feel like I, I could cope with it it was just constant and when you were going out you know you had to feed him before you left you got to somewhere you fed him there you had to feed him like two or three and it was just monotonous and it just was a lot a lot of work I was feeling tired I was really struggling with like headaches and things so I just felt like it was the time and I had the intention to quite like wean him off altogether over a long period of time but at the moment I'm quite happy with like formula during the day and feeding with me during the night. I'm thinking maybe around the five month mark 
sort of by the end of January I might just wean them off completely but at the moment I'm feeling much better I'm much happier with how things are and it, it's a bit a bit more relief so I am he is napping better during the day he still has little cat naps but I can like put him down and he'll fall asleep himself it's making much much it's much much easier um so yeah he's on formula he is on Kendall Mill probably not a lot of people have heard of it I have put Olivia onto Aptimil but I had heard that they changed the like recipe to it and it was making them people quite sick or refluxy and you know they're having like stomach issues and I just wasn't sure I wanted to put her put him on to that and I heard from another youtuber I was speaking about Kendall Mill it's a British company it uses full cream rather than whatever else normal formula uses I can't remember the exact terminology and it's not like fish oil or something it's like I don't know they've got another ways of I don't know it just seemed like it was a lot better there was really really good reviews there was really like lots of positive like no issues and I would say in general he's taken to it pretty well that was probably three weeks he's been on it no major issues um nappy wise or anything like that and um, he seems to have settled quite onto it he takes six ounces every four hours so within a day he's probably getting two bottles um of six ounces sometimes we split it up sometimes we'll maybe just give him a four if i know it's like one o'clock in the afternoon um i might just give him a four ounce bottle you know that'll do him till like four in the afternoon um till i start feeding him again it just depends what we're doing if like we have something on at night I have maybe given him an extra bottle like I've fed him from like four till six or something or four till seven and then I've given him a bottle just because like we had a night out and there's been like new year and things so there's been lots of things like that going on so but he, that's just like one or two times not not a huge amount but he's been absolutely fine with it he's taken to it really really well and I feel a lot comfortable doing that so it's much easier um, the only thing about that Kendall Mill is it's not available in most shops. Like, if I wanted to buy it from a shop, it would be an hour away. Um, so it's not the most convenient, but I just feel like it's the best for him. So we order it online, so just a case of making sure we order it in plenty of time and we won't run out. And it's it's much cost, it costs much the same as all the others, so it's not like it's more expensive or anything. So... That's that. Hopefully, eventually on time, he will be 100% on formula. Um, other than that, what are we at? That's feeding. I won't no um, food yet. I won't be looking at weaning until he's six months, just in case MD's wondering. Um, so that's sleeping and feeding. And bre uh, breastfeeding wise, he's absolutely fine. He, he, he swaps between the two, absolutely no problem. Um, he still feeding really really well that way so that's good so he's still getting all the good anti antibodies from me um but just making my life just just a tiny bit easier um and it just means that other people can help out as well which is good so development wise he's laughing he's smiling and giggling um he can roll over from on his back till his front but not the opposite way about um but he is sitting up really well. He's not sitting up by himself, but he's got really, really good head control. He's really strong. He's probably gonna be on the move quite like quickly, I think. Um, Olivia was like quick as well, so I think he'll be the same. What else have you done? I think that's kind of it, development-wise. This, um, put his fingers in his mouth. I did, we did like give him a dummy. He kind of started off and being not too bad and I would say eventually over time he just got fed up of it. I wasn't gonna start buying like 10 different dummies to see if he liked it. I just kind of left it and then eventually he's he's obviously started putting his fingers in his mouth and now he's happy doing that. And he just, he's happy soaking it. He's chilled out, it chills him out. He'll fall asleep that way. He's got a comforter so between that and the comforter he's absolutely fine and I think eventually he's still got a dummy really just for the car seat and maybe on the odd occasion if he's if I'm struggling to settle him um but I think eventually the, the dummy will just go I've just got rid of Olivia's and she's two and a half 
and I just think, well, if he's not interested in it, why put myself through the hassle of trying to find dummies under cots and having to get them to give it up? If he's not going to take it, I'm happy for him and it's much easier. <laughs> if he'd taken it, I wouldn't have had a problem either. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of everything. He's just coming on dandy, getting bigger. Um, I haven't had him weighed. I think he got weighed at the hospital and he was like 70? No. It was like 7.4 kilo. No, that'd be right. No. Yeah, 7.4 kilos. I can't. I haven't looked at to actually see what that is in stones, um, in pounds and ounces. But he's obviously getting bigger. He's managing fine. Getting longer. He's into six to nine months clothes. I think he must be about 70 centimeters by now. Um, he's just going to be a little long boy, tall boy, are you? Mm, and your hair's coming in as well. He's definitely going to be blonde. So he's just all in all doing really, really well, are you? Are you doing really well? Are you doing really well? Are you happy boy? Yeah, it's been good to get him to see him being a lot happier over the last few days after being really, really unhappy with being ill. Um, he's just coming on really well, are you? But that's it for today. Uh, I hope you've liked this vlog. I will link all his other updates below. And if you did like it, give it a thumbs up and if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next time. Bye bye. See you later. You say bye. You say bye. You say bye. It's a smile. Who's that? She's getting excited. I see ya. Who's that? You say, who's that? <laughs> Get a smile. Who's his stories today? Who's his stories today? Who's his stories? Today?